Good evening, folks. In a recent video, we went over the rare type of CME I never want to see aimed at Earth. Stuff of nightmares. Today, I wanted to quickly show you something else we don't want to see. This is the sequence of the Halloween 2003 solar superstorms. Two major X-class flares pounded out CMEs that hit Earth and drove Aurora down to low latitudes. I'm often asked, how big do sunspots have to be to be scary? Or, I see people remarking about sunspots they see these days and how big they look. Well, folks, these are the sunspots that produced the 2003 flares. Quite large and very complex, with multiple umbral cores. That southern active region, seriously gnarly. Back in 1947, this massive sunspot came around and produced several flares as well. For those who have heard Doug Vogt discuss how the government got terrified of something the sun did back in the late 40s, this is precisely the sunspot that started their concern. Another excellent example of a megaspot is from 2001. This one here is on the northern hemisphere, and keen memories among you might recall this was also a low-latitude auroral event. Folks, this next one here is the largest sunspot group of the last sunspot cycle from 2017, and it's bigger than anything we've yet had this sunspot cycle, which won't peak for another 6 to 18 months. Now, keeping this one in mind, let's take another look at those previous massive sunspots, and you should be able to tell there is no comparison. The sunspots seen in previous decades were psychotically enormous by comparison to the last 10 to 15 years. Hopefully, that trend remains as Earth's magnetic pole shift is leaving us more vulnerable, as most of you know. The upcoming months will tell if this sunspot cycle continues the trend. But anyway, I hope this was informative. And I guess the overarching concern or message to be taken away is no. None of the sunspots we've seen the last couple of years should qualify as, quote, very big or a mega spot. It's been quite a number of years since we've had one. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.